Six. Morning anchor Bridget Ellison has more in tonight's Getting Results in Our Schools. Getting Results in Our Schools, sponsored by Crayola Experience. This week we're at Lake Mary High School. Actually, we're in the woods just behind the high school, checking out the program of emphasis in forensic science. Students are analyzing a mock crime scene. And remember how we search, right? Yeah. Right here. Don't be afraid to squat down. You got the hair here. Forensic science and legal studies give students the opportunity to think outside the box and outside the classroom. They're getting the basics in crime scene investigation. Right now they are analyzing the evidence that was collected at the crime scene. Uh, just kind of show both how we do the crime scene investigation side, but also the forensic aspect of analyzation. I always was fascinated with puzzles. And like I always love solving puzzles and all this other stuff. So I always thought like, wow, forensics is kind of like solving a puzzle, like solving a crime. Each time is a different puzzle, a new puzzle. They're also getting professional instruction from a veteran in the business. Steve Hansen is a retired senior volunteer with more than 40 years experience in crime scene investigation. This was just something I can do, uh, share some of my knowledge, get the students interested in this, and uh, help them understand the difference between and what's real because obviously they're significantly different in, in many instances. Many students say they were inspired by forensics based TV shows to take this class and they're enjoying learning more about the real thing so much they see it as a career path. I think my future plan is probably to go off and be a forensic neurologist. I want to be a forensic detective and maybe I am in psychology right now so maybe with uh, psychology and with it um, criminal profiling. And by the time students are seniors in the forensic science program, they can earn up to six college credits they can use toward their future education. I'm Bridget Ellison. I'll see you in the morning. I don't think I had six college credits in my sophomore <laughs> year. <laughs> it's I mean, pretty it, impressive. It really is incredible, all the experience that kids are exposed to now in high school and middle school. So Good stuff. Cool stuff. Now, if you keep a rice or slow